Hey you guys, Tina here with our Blessed and Beautiful Life. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on and say Merry Christmas Eve. Today is Christmas Eve and I'm really excited. We've been waiting for this um, just as I'm sure that you have. And we finally have, I feel like we have the house somewhat unpacked and kind of, you know, settled and normalcy has kind of set in. Um, so what I wanted to do was a quick little home tour, new home tour to show you guys the new house. And it's super simple. You know, we definitely downsized from, um, I think we had 25, around 2,500 square feet in the farmhouse. And I believe this house is just over 2,000. So it is a ranch style home, so one story, but we decided to do a bonus room upstairs for Lexi. Um, so she kind of has her own space and you'll kind of see me pan as soon as you come in the front door going up the stairs that's Lexi's room up there she's got her own full bath and um, a really cute room up there so that's kind of a nice space for her and then when she moves on I think we can use that space for a guest room or maybe even a workout area um, lots of ideas maybe move the homeschool room office upstairs and then you know if the adoption and everything works out with you know, Jackson, the way that we're hoping it does, um, or whatever child God allows us to adopt, we're hoping to maybe have both of the children um, let, allow them to have their own room. So right now uh, we bought a bunk bed and put that in Parker's room so that both the boys would have a sleeping area together so they would be sharing a room. And the other room is the office slash homeschool area. So um, it's kind of nice because we had our adoption worker come out last week and she did the uh, home study inspection of the new house. We had already had that done previously in the farmhouse, but since we moved, we had to update that and she had to come and inspect the new home. So we had that last week on Tuesday and it was kind of nice because it kicked us into high gear as far as like getting unpacked and kind of getting pictures hung and getting normalcy back in the house, which you know, pictures being hung in decor was not the reason that she was here. But of course, that's important to me that my house is um, presentable and clean and welcoming. So it really put a fire under us to get everything unpacked, which is kind of nice because here we are, Christmas and everything is basically done. So we just have some small things here and there. Just I got to get some more curtains. We have some windows here that we didn't have in the other house that could we have French doors. Um, in the dining room that lead out to the back deck and I didn't have that in the other house So I do want to get some curtains for those French doors um, And then Lexi and Parker's room is not 100% decorated. So um, I need curtains and we've kind of we've revamped with um, Different kinds of furniture and things like that. So for this tour I, I'm not going into Lexi's room or Parker's room. I'm just kind of staying on the main main floor of the house and um, main main living areas so so I am dressed in my snowman onesie, if you can see that. Um, I'm excited. I've got my brother and his family coming over tonight for Christmas Eve dinner. And we're going to do, um, I'm, I'm not doing like a big turkey or anything like that. We're doing a huge pot of spaghetti and Italian sausage and homemade cheesy bread and then a big salad on the side. So keeping it simple. Um, I've definitely done the big turkey spreads before and this was kind of last minute planned and so you know we're just going to feed the bellies and then I bought all the stuff to make big huge ice cream sundaes with the kids after dinner and then, and then we're going to sit down and watch Christmas movies so I told everybody to come in their pajamas it's a pajama party with sundaes and sprinkles and it's going to be a lot of fun so um, I figured I would be festive and set the mood for the children because that's what I like to do. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing holiday season and that you have a beautiful Christmas tomorrow. And I just want to remind you guys um, not to forget the reason for the season. Um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born and saved the world. And so really we need to take a, a moment to stop and step back and just sit in that just be still in that because we have so much to be grateful for so don't forget that this holiday season and say a little prayer to him and um 
you know, happy birthday to him because that's what this is all about. So I'm excited once it starts warming up outside to show you guys the outside and um, do, do some fun projects. We've got to get a fence put up like I told you in my last video and I definitely need to uh, work on getting a bigger chicken run like I said. So um, I do want to do a greenhouse again this spring and a small garden and lots of fun stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tour of the new house. It's been a lot of fun and um, it's smaller and it's easier to clean. <laughs> Who doesn't love that, right? Um, it's just very different. Colors are different. Um, the feel of it's different and it's great. It's a, a huge blessing to us and I just wanted to share it with you guys and that is all. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because we would love for you to follow us on our journey. Um, you guys may have noticed that I, I did change the name of my channel. You know, we came from 18 acres um, when we sold the farmhouse. So our channel name used to be Amaryllis Acres Homestead. And it kind of made sense. You know, we had eight acres. <laughs> well, now we have an acre. So it, it just, I got to thinking about it and I said, you know, with us not having all the farm animals and doing all of that and having all the land that we did, um, I kind of was just feeling the the pull to change the name of the channel. And it's not, like I told you guys before, it's not that you can't homestead on an acre of land, um, which we still do intend on doing in many ways. You know, homesteading is, it is really what you feel in your heart, you know, what, what what calls you to that, what you what you feel homesteading is, you know, if that's having your free range chickens and a little garden and preserving and, um, or maybe hunting or raising your own meat or, I mean, there's just so many definitions and, and it's all perception of what people feel homesteading is. So we can definitely homestead on this acre of land, but I was just feeling a call to change the channel name to be more fitting to um, kind of where we're going with it from here now that we've sold the farm. So um, it's our blessed and beautiful life and I think that it's fitting. I do feel blessed. I do feel that our life is beautiful and it's crazy and ridiculous sometimes as you guys all can probably relate. Um, but out of the chaos, there is beauty and there is blessings. And so we just have to kind of keep that in the forefront of our mind and never forget that. So anyway, you guys, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. You'll notice that my decor style is very simple. It's kind of a modern farmhouse theme, rustic, distressed. You know, I like to go antiquing with Joe and pick up old things from the antique store for decoration. Um, and a lot of the stuff that you'll see in the video, Joe has actually made himself. And lots of DIY Pinterest type projects and centerpieces and things like that. Like this little centerpiece that I have on my dresser right here. I mean, Joe made this for me and I just filled it with some little pine cones that I think I probably got from Michaels or Walmart. I mean, I don't even know. I've had them for so long, but just some simple little blocks of wood thrown together with some handles on it. And it's super cute. So that is a lot of what we do in the house. And I love things that are not perfect. It just makes it very, very simple. So, and like this here, this little fan is something that I picked up at an antique store really old fan. This one here doesn't even work. We do have an older one that's bigger that actually still works, but um, I just love the old stuff. A little bit of mixture with, um, a little bit of mixture of old and new. That's my favorite, so.